In question 18, a man can swim at 5-6 metres per second in still water. He swims across a river 125 metres wide. The river flows with a constant speed of 25 over 18 metres per second, parallel to the straight banks. How long will it take him if he swims to reach the opposite bank as quickly as possible? Now, if the man wants to end up, um, wants to cross the river in the quickest possible time, he would have to head straight across. Now, the current then will bring him down river, and we can represent this uh, in a diagram. So here, the velocity of the man relative to the river. So if there was no current flowing, he would continue in this direction with a speed of 5 over 6. However, there is a current flowing, and this brings him down river, and the speed of the river is 25 over 18. So this vector would represent the actual velocity of the man. That would be Vm. And in terms of distance, the river is 125 meters wide, and this is the actual distance that he travels. Now, using similar triangles, we can state that the time taken is the actual distance over the actual speed. However, that's the same as 125 over 5 over 6. So the time taken will be 125 over 5 over 6. And that works out as 150 seconds. Now, if we want to find the time taken to cross and um, if he travels as little down river as possible. So we want this distance to be as little as possible. Now, if the man heads out at some angle relative to the uh, bank, the current then is going to bring him down river. Now, if we want him to travel as little down river as possible, this means that the velocity of the man would have to be perpendicular to the velocity of the man relative to the river. So this gives a right angle triangle. That would be the time taken, or we can use this to find the time taken to cross um, if he travels as little down river as possible. Now, the velocity of the man, uh, we can work this out using Pythagoras' theorem. Um, if this is the right angle, uh, 25 over 18 is the hypotenuse. So 25 over 18 squared is going to equal 5 over 6 squared plus Vm squared. So this means then that Vm squared is going to equal 25 over 18 squared minus 5, 6 to be squared. And this works out as 10 over 9. Now, this angle and this angle are going to equal because that line will be parallel to this line. So in the black triangle, the sine of theta is the opposite over the hypotenuse. So the sine of theta would be 5 over 6 over 25 over 18. And that simplifies to 3 fifths. In the green triangle, the sine of theta is 125 over d. Now, if we cross multiply, 3d equals 625. And then this means d works out as 65 over 3. So the time taken is the distance over the speed. The distance is d and the speed is vm. We know what d is and we know what vm is. So this means the time is going to be the distance is 65 over 3 and divided by the speed was vm and that worked out as 10 over 9. And this gives a time of 187.5 seconds.